Hello everybody. We are now here on the rooftop with Joey guarding me. So we are gardening here. First step of transferring the transferring the palm tree. But our topic is not the palm tree, not the plant. Our topic is the palm reading. So how did I learn to read palm? I have a cousin in Manila and they have a cousin on their father's side and she was or they are my cousin on my mother's side and this cousin visited them so that was 1999 this woman a friend and cousin visited my cousin they are my cousin on the mother's side visited them at home and one night we were sleeping and she mentioned about reading palm and I was surprised that someone know how to read palm because I have no idea about it if it's real or what and you can only watch them on TV that people can read palm so I don't I don't believe much on that so by the way while while I'm talking I will mix this organic soil I sweep I clean the ground floor and I collected soil in the drainage the dry drainage so when it's raining there are collections of soil so it's clogging or blocking the the hole or the way where the water goes so I removed the soil so these are the collection of soils so back to the main issue so when she mentioned that she know how to read and I asked her if she can read my palm and then she read it and I said how did you do that how did you know that so she teach me a little bit and it, it started with the with the uh, life the life it's about the lifeline and then it's very tiring because it's really little 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 lines tapos blurry pa malabo pa it's like faded and she can read every details of it and she, she teach me a little bit of that and then i was tired and sleepy because she just told me when we were about to sleep we were we're already laying down we lie down on the bed and we got up because <laughs> I was so makulit, I was eager to let her read my palm and then eventually ask her to teach me. So when I get tired, we sleep and I said, uh, we will continue tomorrow. And she said, you have to get up early because I will go to work tomorrow. And so she teach me like the the lifeline and i said where's this and that and this and she said this is the love life this is the uh money line this these are the health line these are the life like that so we sleep the next day i woke up in the morning i don't see her anymore so she's gone and my cousin said she already went off if you did not wake up early and i said well, when you are young, even even bomba, even a bomb, it's difficult for you to get get up. So I was sad. <laughs> I was sad when she left because it wasn't finished. The life as normal. That was 1999, right? So later on, years pass by. I my mother found a employer for me to work at the same time study so i study at night and then i work during the day so my cousin lives in Taguig. at the time i was in Taguig, so i moved to quezon city near up village so when when i was studying in college my cousin who lives in Taguig, uh one of them went to hong kong to work and then they purchased a house in the Camilla or Camilla homes in Cavite City. So one time my cousin 
from Hong Kong came back home to their new home in Cavite and then she brought us to Tagaytay for a tour in the volcano view viewing so after that one one time her sister and my cousin I mean both of my cousins they went to Japanese embassy to apply for a visa someone works in Hong Kong she wants to go to Japan so we lined up we line up in the Japanese embassy and then she mentioned that she's in trouble with her love life because she has a few manliligaw na she can't decide which which one or who who, who she will pick or choose so this cousin is like 30 plus like old enough to get married but cannot decide <laughs> cannot decide on love life so what i did i tried to read her palm i don't know if they i don't know if they they know that i i don't even know i didn't even know that i, I can read at that time i just i was just trying like can i just read your hand so i, I, I maybe i can see well, maybe we can decide so you can it can help you decide because she has two prospect manly legal or sutor that is or that are aggressive like competition kind of thing and she's like torn between two lovers ganon so when i read her hand and i say uh, you don't actually have two love life you only have one and they were surprised and she was like what one there are three two are very you know aggressive very serious and the other one is like calm calma and i said wow i can see it, it only has one here and she she we all we were all surprised because she said um so that means out of three three of them i said that means you have to choose one of them who are who is the heaviest who is the best you choose one of them and that's the only one will mark on your heart and mind that's why you have one in the line of love life so after that my other cousin asked me to read her palm also because there are there are two cousins with us or with me so I read it, but I forgot. I forgot the other cousin story. But this cousin who worked in Hong Kong was the the one who always asked me update of her life. And this cousin is, as I said, 30, 30 plus, really matured, like financially stable and all. But you know, she was looking to settle down. To have a good you know family or love life and i actually told her one one only one love life and he will marry you and they were uh, like shocked <laughs> excited half half excited i said he will marry you this one love life and marry you you know uh, i don't remember maybe in the future i will make another vlog to follow up so she can confirm she can tell the story from the beginning before before she got love life until she has a family so that's where i started my <laughs> my practice of reading palm and then after that um so my cousin went back to hong kong and then i I studied in college after after graduation I applied for Hong Kong so I went to the agency and apply and then all of the workers who are bound outside Hong uh, outside Philippines or bound for OFW they are required to do the training so before I departed or before my flight I went to a training center and inside the training center I was the only young person and single we have we are about more than 10 people 
and I was the only young 20 plus like middle 20s and most of them are if they are young they have uh, they are single mother like that so they are just working for ab ab abroad for their kids or their, their family so one time there was one mother who were really ano, problematic really problemado she shared something and then she's confused again confused and i i grabbed her hand and, and i said can i can i see your hand and then she said why you know how to read and i said not really but i will try and then i i, I start talking and talking and talking and then she agreed with whatever i say and then everyone was whoever was around us they were like ako din ako din they call actually they call me bunso because i was the youngest so they call me bunso and then ako din bunso and then i was like hui we are here for training not for this thing and then and then after that there's there's break for like lunch time so lunch time they all lined up like they they finished their lunch so they have time for me to read their palm so and to make the story short all of them i read their palm it in, include our staff our facilitator the staff in the training center include uh, the teacher or the trainer and then i didn't actually expect that you know i can do that and after reading all their palm i feel sleepy so i sleep and then i think i remember one one person was not i was not able to read because inabot tang pagod nakakapagod nakakatired it's so tiring when you read palm and then when when i got up that person is already out of duty so she was the only one that i was not able to read palm to sleep first so i can have a better uh, no eyesight or proper proper thought or thinking so i sleep when i get up she's gone she 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 was off duty so that's the story of how i read palm and then unfortunately uh, during that time that was 2021 we don't have facebook so most of us went to hong kong or came here to hong kong and i didn't talk to them because we don't have con communication we don't have phone so shout out sa inyo lahat whoever you are na makapanood nito Ang mangyayari mga madaman sir, I will start reading palm every Friday and I will post them on my YouTube as am I reply because there are a few people or maybe a lot, more than 10, already sent their palm video so I can read but I haven't have time to reply so this is my way of replying you. I will make a vlog while reading your, your palm because typing a reply is very long so... Okay, this video will premiere on uh, February 11, Friday. So this is like part one of palm reading. How I started. Alright, there's more to come for the story. Thank you guys. Bye.